Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Markets here again. Got a strange little studio service here today. It's in the car at the laundromat. You know, one part of me is very happy. And another part of me is very distressed. And I want to cry. Now, why am I so happy? I'm so happy on the one hand because I've been blessed out of the 70 some odd years I've been living. I've been taught some wonderful things, wonderful things like this. Every person in America today that is physically capable to do a job or to choose a career that they love and if they need any additional education to prepare that they can get that education and that once qualified to do the work that they love doing, that they can be placed in a position that would allow them to do exactly what gives them their greatest pleasure as far as a career is concerned. And that could be anything, anything from digging a ditch, from being a janitor, from a carpenter, from a architect, uh, 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 engineers, uh, pilots, uh, you name it, whatever it is that gives you your greatest joy, whether you're doing it now or thought about doing it, I never thought you could do it. I want you to know that I have been given a plan that would allow every American. Now, you know, in America, there are so many people unemployed. There's so many people working for minimum wage. There are so many people working, just getting by from paycheck to paycheck. I have been given a plan, ladies and gentlemen, that when you go into the workforce, it opens the door so you can live as though you're living in paradise. That means that everybody who's getting out of high school who want to go to college can go to college. Choose the college you want to go to. And if the, I know schools might not be big enough, once the, do you open to all of you can go to any school you want or go to college? There might have to be adjustments to receive all of you, but open it up. The plan is there to open it up so everybody that wants to go to college can go to college. Yes, if you qualify, now you might got to you got to be smart to stay in college. So you, if you want to go, you'll study. You want to go and you know what you want to do. It'll be easy for you. Now, what about health care? I have a plan, ladies and gentlemen, that would offer health care from the womb to the tomb. Health care from the womb to the tomb. And we got motivation to be the best at everything that you do. From digging that dish, from cleaning that toilet, from making those lights, from flying anywhere you want to fly. Whatever. The best you can be. I have been given a plan for that. Not only that, ladies and gentlemen, the lifestyle that you want to live. It's just there for you. Now, you know what? Now, this is fantastic. I know how much pain and suffering is going on out here for it. lack of education, lack of health care, lack of employment, lack of housing, lack of food and shelter, all of these different things. I know what it's like. And you, the people, have been living your whole life, and you've never come up with an answer. Never come up with an answer. Everybody that's living on America, in America today have never come with an, up with an answer that would resolve these problems. You got people talking. You got Republicans and Democrats each talking out of each different sides of their mouths. And none of them has ever told you that they had a plan that they could articulate and answer your question. Neither one of them. But they are right there today debating about who's going to be uh, who's going to come into office in, in doing 22. Will it be Republicans or Democrats? And what's going to happen 24? And neither one of these folks can do anything for you beyond what they've already done except take you further down in the rabbit hole to fire. And you know what? Nobody wants to know what I'm talking about. I put on YouTube, Facebook. I check it out several times. Maybe somebody else might check it out and think about how stupid it is and go ahead on back and don't tell anybody about it. Don't want to hear anything else about it. Ain't that something? And you're arguing over Donald Trump who tried to sell you out, who tried to sell you off to Russia, I think. Not only that, try to become your God so he can tell everybody in this country what to do. Woo, you laughing at him now. And he got people out there trying to support him that he could be your God on the throne. And I have a plan that will free you. You don't have to lie. Everything that these other people do is going to come from lying and cheating and stealing and terrorizing and picking up guns trying to scare you. 
You don't have to do any of that for the plan I have. All you have to do is choose that. That's what you want. Now, you're going to ask me more about how in the world can I do this? And this is what I want you to do. Ask me. And I'm not going to tell you right now. I want you to ask me. You ask me. And then I'll tell you. I'll tell you how, how you can do this. I'll tell you how much it's going to cost. I'll tell you how you're going to get what it takes to cost. I'll tell you about everything you need to know in order to accomplish this stuff. I've been waiting for my whole life to tell you. You got people, let me say this again. You got people sitting around complaining about Trump and the Republicans. You got people with the Democratic Party don't even want to do what the Democratic Party want to do. You still got white people and black people at odds with one another. You still want to be a first class citizen to a second class citizen. You still got all of this stuff you want. To, you have no plans for the cops to stop shooting people they don't like. Oh man, you guys are really something else. I mean, you're really, really something else. And while you're out here doing this stuff, people are sick. People are dying. People don't have any place to stay. There, Look, you, I remember about a year and a half, two years ago, they used to talk about chemtrails. That was supposed to be uh, uh, conspiracy stuff. But I haven't heard. The virus, come on, I ain't heard nothing else about any chemtrails. They talk about uh, HARP, that weather station that's supposed to be being in motion to be used as what you can use weather for. If that was the case, you'd be over there somewhere try, where in Madagascar trying to put some water to get some some plants growing, some food growing. So all of that stuff is a bunch of lies set up about nothing. And you got your commentators your on television, on soap, uh, social media, and they're all questioning what's going on with Trump, what the Democrats going to do, what's going on with Trump, and this is that. And, and now and one single one of them will come and say, Eddie, you say you got a solution to this problem. Tell us what that solution is. Not a single person. I go to the church and tell the church, I got something for you. God has sent it to you. And look that, they just wait for me to walk out the door. And you know why they do that, ladies and gentlemen? Because everybody has been trained to dishonor the truth. Everybody's been trained to dishonor righteousness. Now, I know you don't think you have. You think every man, thing has been coming down just straight, right on the money. But right now, every last one of you in America, most of you in America, think God set up this institution, this economic situation. You think God set up capitalism in America. Most people in America think God set up capitalism. That's why when you hear politicians say something about socialism, you panic. Because you don't know anything about capitalism, you don't know anything about socialism, you don't know anything about nothing. You just following the what somebody said. That's what slaves do. They don't know anything. They just follow suit. Mm, this, ladies and gentlemen, that I talked to you about is not about slavery. It's about freedom. It's about peace. It's about prosperity. It's about joy of life. It's about the fulfillment of your dreams. It's about your needs, your wants, and your desires being met. Not having to suffer for anything. Why? Because you changed your mind and stopped. In America, you made the white man not be God. And you made a spirit God that you can't see. And you allowed that spirit to live in you and cause you to become a righteous person. And anybody that wants to be a leader, to be a spokesman for a big group of people, to be a spokesman for America, be a spokesman for this nation, they're speaking the same message for everybody. So what I just got through telling you right now, everybody living in paradise. This junk that you guys have been playing, it's time for that stuff to stop. Now, I, I don't think I said anything to, to uh, cause you to shut me off for uh, Facebook or YouTube. And if I did, I only shared with you the truth. And if it means that you got to deny the truth, then, hey, it's okay with me. Until next time, Eddie Marcus saying goodbye.